We're down at West Point, Mississippi, hunting with Daniel Hayes of Mossy Oak. He showed us around the headquarters there and took the old pawn shop shotgun out for a morning to hunt. Pawn Shop Shotgun, presented by the National Wild Turkey Federation and Out Here Co. We're in West Point, Mississippi, and we had the honor of being shown around the Mossy Oak headquarters by Daniel Hayes. You can't think of turkey hunting without thinking of Mossy Oak. A true story how people talk about the origins of Mossy Oak, but Dad was trying to figure out how to hide better from turkeys. Literally had a Ziploc bag full of dirt, sticks, and leaves, and then was sketching bottom land, trying to match the colors up uh, to the colors of where he was hunting because they just figured. Why, you know, everybody's wearing army camo and building yeah. these elaborate blinds. And he was like, if I just looked like the, uh, the, the tree I was hunting yeah. in, then I'd be able to hide from turkeys a little better. And I wouldn't be married to a tree. I'd be able to move around and uh, put my back up against any tree and become invisible. So that's the very first green leaf that was uh, printed to improve the colors. And then uh, that's the first bottom land. This is my single favorite uh, Mossy Oak product, but my grandmother sewed all the first uh, head nets and she sewed my Papa's uh, eyeglasses in there so that, because it was one of those ones that you just drop down over your head, and uh, so she sewed his eyeglasses in there, so you could just put the glasses on, and then the <laughs> that face is the mask would be thing ever. perfect uh, spot. It was my papa's uh, first mossy oak jacket. This thing is a freaking work of art. He wore the absolute crap out of it, squirrel hunting, deer hunting, turkey hunting, whatever, and uh, it has all kind of alterations that my grandmother made. Like there's some different fabric in it that came along later. That's full foliage. Um, Sewed an oven mitt. He's left-handed. Sewed an oven mitt into the uh, shoulder as a little shooting pad, and uh, it's just got it's got so much character. Like all these little holes and places that it was ripped and new fabric. And I mean, you can it. see like five different uh, types of fabric on here uh, from the times over the years where it got ripped up and had oh, to be that repaired. That is awesome. Dang. So now it's retired in here. The following morning we were able to get out for a quick morning hunt with Daniel. But with storms rolling in and the wind picking up, the birds were quiet. Well, you know, like the whole reason we're doing this project is, you know, taking this whole gun around the country, hunting with people. And somebody like you, especially being from Mossy Oak and, you know, hunting royalty in a sense. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you coming down and letting us, showing us around town and everything. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm glad y'all come out to the camp. Yeah, it was awesome. It's a cool place out here. Uh, yeah. Pretty quiet morning, not any yeah. turkey skyline. Yeah, we got all that weather coming in. It's just kind of how it goes. Yeah, that's how it goes. Y'all are on a tight schedule? Tight schedule, it's just, you know, making it work, but um, yeah, I really appreciate you. Um, I know y'all just uh, came out with that, duck, or that turkey stamp. Yeah. Yeah, can you t tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. You know, obviously, the hunting world's had a long history with uh, wildlife conservation yep. stamps, raising money. And uh, back in the day, like in the 80s and early 90s, like just about every state that was a big turkey in state had a state turkey stamp. And I mean, it accounted for hundreds of thousands of dollars that was all going directly for wild turkeys with no strings attached and uh, for whatever reason people just stopped doing them. Now Arkansas started doing one again uh, a couple years ago and uh, that's really about it. Uh, and we were just sitting around with some buddies and we were like, we were complaining about states that don't do their stamp anymore and we were like, well why does that have to just be them? Why can't we do our own stamp? And we were like, no, I don't, that's a <laughs> great idea. Just a light bulb moment. So, um, And we already, you know, Gamekeepers is kind of like yeah. the part of our brand that represents all the you know, the deeper values, the connection to the dirt, uh, all that we kind of dad and papa instilled in everybody. Um, anyway, so we, we had the, you know, the most significant part about any stamp is picking the artwork. Yeah. And we had the, the perfect one. There was a 
painting in 1996 called uh, a mossy oak moment um, it's two turkeys strutting under some trees and a father and a son sitting up next to a tree it's really cool and uh we had a freaking heck of a time trying to track down the artist because he's just he was like some tile contractor from wyoming okay uh that nobody had talked to in a really long time you know we finally got up with him and got permission to use it um, so yeah it's cool because we you know we do a lot our time effort and money working with the wtf and uh like I said, through gamekeepers, yeah. trying to educate people on projects that they can do on their own land, and yeah. uh, we wanted to have a little something that was kind of unaffiliated with any, because we've, you know, for a long time we worked really closely with Ducks Unlimited and NWTF and a bunch of other groups. Um, but this is cool because it's like a, a way for a lot of just random hunters to know that true. If they donate fifteen dollars for one stamp, all fifteen dollars of that, it's going um, straight to not it. a single cent of that's going in our pocket or covering costs or anything like that. It's all going straight into this conservation fund we're going to use to, you know, not fund any organizations, but just pick a few uh, grassroots projects nice. and give the money directly to them. And we've got Dr. Chamberlain and uh, Marcus Lashley okay. uh, down in Florida. Uh, you know, whether we got five thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars to uh, to use, we're going to let them kind of help us pick some projects and uh, go from there. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really excited about it, and I I, I think. Uh, it'll kind of be one of those like a lot of states I think will be like well, we'll start if Mossy Oaks, pitching on if Mossy Oaks doing it well you know what's our excuse for sure uh, kind of thing uh, I hope so at least so hopefully nice. it'll have a little trickle effect where oh yeah it inspires some states to uh, kind of jump back on it no dude that I think it will for sure and that's that's phenomenal um, tell us a little bit about you know Mossy Oak you know I know from the beginning and then just kind of get to where it is now I mean it's just it's been around it's one of those things when you think of turkey hunting you think of mossy oak yeah and uh and as it should be because that i mean it's literally in our blood i was born in 1990 mossy oak started in 1986 so it was just before uh my time but it literally started because dad was obsessed with uh becoming invisible to turkeys him and my granddad whenever my dad was born we didn't have turkeys in, in west point here my granddad grew up in south alabama so uh he would take my dad down there and they would go hunt at this place called Choctaw Bluff where the uh, the actual mossy oak tree uh, yeah. was. And uh, dad just got so frustrated. He got out of college and in his early 20s, he was he just kept getting uh, frustrated with the fact that they were wearing army camo and they had to build these blinds and they could just pick one tree to sit on and that was it. And everybody felt like if they moved around too much, they were gonna uh, spook a turkey or wouldn't be able to blend in or whatever. Yeah. And uh, after a couple of years, I think about it, in 84 and 85, um, he literally got a handful of dirt sticks and leaves in a Ziploc bag and went to sketching out the original bottomland uh, pattern and trying to match up the colors to make it look like the so cool. bark of a tree and the dirt and the natural colors where he was uh, hunting. And uh, the rest is history. He yeah. made that, him and my grandmother and my uh, my granddad, you know, they made the first, you can see the, the first catalog back at the office, but it was all like, you know, Greenleaf was 1987, but uh, so one year after. But you know, it was all right from the go, just basic pants, shirt, jacket. Uh, they kind of started to revolutionize the turkey vest a, a few years into it. Um, Bob Dixon was really a pioneer there, but um, yeah, it was uh, Dad trying to hide from turkeys, and uh, him and my grandmother, my my granddad, and uh, my dad's my uncle Bill uh, was the first employee. Bob Dixon, cause a couple of those guys yeah uh cuz was working for will primos at the time and uh he was filming with the truth and cuz came over and started working for mossy oak and uh that was kind of like the first crew there was four or five of them that were just absolutely obsessed with turkey hunting they were burning up the road driving around oh yeah building up mossy oak it was cool but yeah turkeys are absolutely in our blood it's it's where the company started and it's just every spring it feels like home when we get out here oh yeah I can only imagine, man. This is this is phenomenal, and I want to thank you so much for just being a part of this, signing the gun, and just you know helping out with you know Dude, yeah, well, conservation yeah. with what all y'all do. Yeah, it's cool so far. We just got it's only Mississippi folks on the gun, yeah, and a couple of buddies of mine. So, uh, yeah, y'all are gonna have a fun turkey season. Oh yeah. It'll be fun. If you want to know how you can start being a part of turkey conservation, you can join the National Wild Turkey Federation or renew your current membership. Through your membership, you'll also be entered to win this signed pawn shop shotgun. Be sure to check out the link below for details on how to enter to win.